Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. Girls, I'm so happy. It's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Calico Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. The birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, the bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi everyone, my name is Calliope. My father is the ringmaster with a traveling circus. One day, I'll join his circus. But for now, I'm here practicing my skills as a clown. And when I get them just right, I know my papa will send for me and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. But for now, I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley. And with me are some of my best friends. They help me improve my skills. Some of them even want to be in the sideshow. Hi, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day here in Calico Valley. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. I wonder what that noise is. Good morning, Calliope. What's that strange sound? Good morning, Penelope. I was wondering the same thing. Hey, a Calliope. What's that sound? It's a getting right under Giuseppe's skin, like a big itch. I don't know, Giuseppe. It's so strange that on such a beautiful day you would hear a buzzing noise. It's a pretty strange, that's a true. Maybe it's a you alarm clock. Did you leave it a turned on? I don't know, Giuseppe, but I'll check it. Okay, and I'll check into the kitchen and see if it's a comer from there. It's not the clock. It's turned off. Whatever that buzzing noise is, it's not the clock. Good morning, Mr. McCall. Good morning, Calliope Lass. What in the world is that infernal noise? I don't know, Mr. McCall. We've all been trying to figure out what it might be. Giuseppe thought the alarm clock might be buzzing, but it's not. I tell you, lass, there's something vaguely familiar about it, but I just cannot place it. Anyway, I have your mail. Just a parcel from your mail order school today. Oh, good! Another mail order course. I wonder what lesson they want me to learn this time. Well, lass, I've no way of knowing. But as smart as you are, you'll have no trouble passing it. If you'll excuse me, I have to deliver the rest of the morning's mail. If I find out what that odd buzzing noise is, I'll be sure to let you know. Ta-ta! Thank you, Mr. McCall. See you soon. Boys and girls, Calliope come right back in just a minute after these messages. I'll get it! Crumb Snatcher, who's on the... It's a call for the Chinese takeaway. Please tell them that they have the wrong number. They want the number 12 can. This is... Crumb Snatcher, you can't take their order. Hello, this is Calliope. I'm really sorry about that. My friend was only trying to help and... 
Oh, I see. You couldn't understand him anyway. <laughs> no, the Chinese takeaway is the number 12 can. This is the circus caravan, the number 10 can. Thank you. Goodbye. That was not funny, Crumb Snatcher. What if they would have understood you and had placed an order for Chinese food? Calliope, I found out what's causing the buzzing noise, and it's following me over here. You did? That's wonderful! Ugh, so that's what worms taste like. Well, I like them anyway. <laughs> Boys and girls, we'll discover what's making all the buzzing noise here at the caravan. We'll be right back. Oh, welcome back, boys and girls. While we wait for our new visitor to arrive, let's see what's in the mail order course. Hello. It's time for another in your continuing series of mail order courses, and this one promises to be a lot of fun. Tell me, have you ever felt like you've lost your way? We all have, haven't we? Well, this course may just help you keep your focus and sense of direction the next time you feel that way. Ready? You'll find everything you need in the package. First, take out the poster and hang it on a nearby wall or fence. Next, you'll find a blindfold. Take it out of the package, but don't tie it around your eyes just yet. Finally, take out the little red clown noses. I think by now you've figured out what you're going to be doing. This is a fun game of pin the nose on the clown, and it's a game that will help you with your focus and direction. Now what you should do is put the blindfold on securely, take a few of the clown noses in your hand, and stand up. Blindfold secured, now turn in a circle a couple of times. There's one, and there's two. Bet you feel dizzy now, don't you? But how am I going to find where to go? There's nothing to worry about. I'll tell you where to go. How do you do that? You're just a voice on the record. <laughs> That's our secret, and we don't talk about it. Now turn around twice more. There's one, and there's two. Now go find that clown and pin the nose on it. No, go to your right. Go straight. No, to your right again. Straight ahead. Oh, you've got to go to the right. There you go. Now. You're there. You're warm. You're very warm. No, no, no. Turn to your left. Turn to your left. You're warm. You're warm. Oh, you're boiling hot. Go ahead. Pin that nose on. Missed it by just a little. Try again. Well, you're getting closer anyway. Uh, no. The other direction. You can do it. There you are. You found your focus and direction. Another success for your mail order school. Whew. Now that is the silliest mail order course they've ever sent me. Well, hello there. Hey, bzz, do you know where I am? Bzz. You're at my caravan. My name is Calliope. How do you do? My name's Honey. Pleased to meet you. Your caravan? Bzz. Where's that? Bzz. In Calico Valley. Bzz. Wow. Bzz. How did I get all the way over to Calico Valley? Bzz. Well, where do you live? My hive is east of the sun and west of the moon. Zzz, 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 zzz. 
east of the sun and west of the moon. Well, where's that? So this is Calico Valley. It's a nice place, but it isn't my home. Can you help me find my way back home? I think I know a fast way to get you some help. I'll be right back. Hello, this is Calliope. Could you get me the radio station, please? Thank you. Station KLOWN, may I help you? Hello, is this station KLOWN? This is Calliope at the Circus's Winter Headquarters. Well, so, Calliope, how are you today? I'm doing just fine, thank you, and I hope you are too. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. You're our favorite clown. Anything we can do to help, we'll be happy to do. You know that. Just tell us what it is and we'll be more than happy to do it for you. Well, a honeybee has showed up here at my caravan and he's lost. I was wondering if you could say something over the radio about it and maybe we could find his home. We would be happy to do it, Tell us about this honeybee. For instance, what does he look like? Sure, he's a big honeybee named Honey. And he says his hive is somewhere east of the sun and west of the moon. East of the sun and west of the moon. That's right, you've got it. Okay, let's see if we can get this on for you right away. You'll announce it? That's wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and I always listen to KLOWN Radio. Yes, I'll make sure I always listen to KLOWN. Bye bye. Good morning, Calliope. And good morning to you as well. Well, good morning, Happy Monkey. This is Honey. He's, well, he's lost. Hi there. I didn't think you were from Calico Valley. Where are you from? Well, my hive is east of the sun and west of the moon. But we don't know exactly where that is, Happy Monkey, do you? No, I don't. But I'll keep my ears open and see if anyone's missing a bee from their hive. I have Giuseppe's grocery order, Calliope. If you'll make sure that he gets it for me, I would really appreciate it very much. I'd be glad to. What is it that you do, Mr. Monkey? I own the Happy Joy Grocery. Stop in sometime. It would be a pleasure. Well, before I head back to the market, I wanted to leave you with... Today's joke, right? <laughs> That's right. What do you get when you cross a bee with a skunk? Hmm, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a bee with a skunk? Do you know, honey? No, oh, Mr. Monkey, I don't. You get a sweet smell. <laughs> oh, happy monkey. That didn't come out of your joke book, did it? No, I made that one up for honey. Well, I thought it was very funny, Mr. Monkey, and thank you for making up a joke just for me. Nice to meet you, honey, and you both have a happy day filled with joy. Thank you, Happy Monkey, you too. Do you think I'll be able to find my way back home, Calliope? Oh, I'm sure you will. Why don't you come around and meet my other friends while we're waiting? I'd like that. Penelope, this is Honey. Honey's trying to find his way back to his hive. Well, how do you do, honey? Just fine, Penelope, and I hope you are too. My hive is east of the sun and west of the moon. Do you know where that is? No, I sure don't. But you're welcome to stay here with us at the caravan until we can figure out where your hive is. That is so very nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. But there's just one thing. What's that? If you're going to spend the night, you won't be able to sleep in my donkey cart. That cat won't go away, just won't get out of it. Oh, that's all right. If I stay the night, I can sleep just about anywhere. So this is the fellow who's been causing all the noise, Amon. Welcome to Calico Valley. I'm Amon. Nice to meet you. I'm Honey. Honey is a little lost bee right now, Haymon. But the people over at the station, KLOWN, are going to put the word out and we'll see if somebody knows where he lives. Oh, that's tough, Mon, being lost. 
I remember when I first came to Calico Valley, Mon. I used to get lost all the time in the streams underground. I finally had to put up some signs just to tell me where I was. Zzz, that's not a bad idea. Zzz. Maybe next time I go flying, I can do that too. And I won't get lost. Zzz. Hey, that's a good idea. Boys and girls, have you ever been lost before? What did you do to find your way back? We'll find out what Honey's going to do to find his way back. After these messages, we'll be right back. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's been an exciting morning here at the caravan. My new friend Honey is still meeting everyone here, and while well, we're hoping that we'll find out something that will help him find his way back home. That could be some help for Honey right now. I'll get it. Hello, this is Calliope. Hey, Calliope. It's Calamity. <laughs> How you doing? Calamity, hi. I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's so good to hear from you. Say, I was just listening to the radio, and I heard the announcer say something about a lost bee. <laughs> And I was wondering if you could describe him for me. I think I might know him. Well, he's yellow and black and has a handsome face and his name is Honey. Yep, <laughs> that's my bee. That's Honey. Yeah, he lives here in the big hive at my place on Patchwork Mountain. Oh, wonderful. Well, he told us that his hive is somewhere east of the sun and west of the moon. What did he mean by that? Yeah, that honey, he's always daydreaming. <laughs> Every time he goes somewhere, he's always looking at the clouds and the sky and the birds. And Well, he always gets lost because he never pays attention to where he's going. <laughs> well, now that we know where he belongs, maybe I could have Penelope draw him a map there. That way he won't get lost. You don't know honey like I do, Calliope. <laughs> He's always getting lost. Why, I bet he'd get lost going from the caravan to the wishing well. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll send Daphne over there later to bring him back home. I wish I could come over there, but I'm tending some special plants in my garden and I just can't get away right now. <laughs> that would be fine, Calamity. And I'm sure Penelope would be happy to see Daphne. I'll call back after I send Daphne over. <laughs> Thanks again for taking care of my very special bee, Calliope. Bye-bye. You're very welcome, Calamity, and have a great day. Goodbye. Who was that on the phone, Calliope? That was Calamity. She heard the radio broadcast about the missing bee and called to say that the bee lives on Patchwork Mountain. So you know where I live. Uh, I'm going to be going home. That's right, honey. Calamity is sending Daphne over to take you back to your hive. Oh, goody! I can't wait to see Daphne! And I can't tell you how thankful I am for all your help, Calliope. Zzz. I'm so glad that you and everyone here are my new friends. Zzz. Tell you what, to thank you all for helping me, I'm going to send you all some honey from my hives. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> Boys and girls, when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's Thought of the Day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the Thought of the Day is, remember to pay very close attention to where you are and where you're going so you'll never get lost. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. Yes, our new friend Honey was a lost little bee for a while, but now that we know where he lives, he's not lost anymore. 
Tell me, Daisy, have you ever had a problem with the cows getting lost? Oh, I see. That's why they wear cowbells. <laughs> Thank you for my milk and have a great day. Here you go, Calliope. Thank you, Giuseppe. And did you hear that Honey is going to start sending us some of the honey from his hive? Mmm, 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 mmm. See, I'ma hear that. But hey, a crumb snatcher, don't you get too excited about all that a honey. We all are going to get a some. And you know, bears do love a the honey. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Penelope's going to help us. Won't you sing along with us? Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes meal time a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. Remember to always pay attention to where you are and where you're going so you'll never get lost. And always do your best. And never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.